Meantime, back here at home, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell has called the results of efforts to promote diversity among the league's head coaches unacceptable. ESPN reporting those comments were included in a memo to teams following claims of racial discrimination by a former coach. Lawyers representing that coach now responding tonight. Here's ABC's Zachary Keish. Tonight, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell responding to that bombshell lawsuit filed Tuesday by former Miami Dolphins head coach Brian Flores. The lawsuit claiming the NFL, quote, remains rife with racism, particularly when it comes to the hiring and retention of black head coaches, coordinators, and general managers. There's one black head coach in the National Football League. So 70% black players. Flores was fired by the Dolphins despite back-to-back -back winning seasons. He claims he was let go in part because he refused to tank the 2019 season so the Dolphins could pick up better picks. Flores is also accusing two teams of conducting what he calls sham interviews to satisfy the NFL mandate requiring people of color be included in the interview process. In that memo to all NFL team owners, Commissioner Goodell acknowledging efforts to promote diversity among head coaches in particular have been unacceptable and pledging to reevaluate all policies, guidelines and initiatives relating to diversity. Flores lawyer in response saying on the surface, a positive first step, but we suspect that this is more of a public relations ploy than real commitment to change. Despite his proven ability and belief that he can be one of the top coaches in this league, Flores says that he's prepared and that if his career gets derailed, but it results in real change within the league, that it'll all be worth it. Whit. Zachary Keish, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.